the bell icon. Hi, this is Lisa Ray, and you're watching me on Femina.in. I don't think of it as courage because I have actually received so much support by sharing my story. Uh, it really started or it was triggered by my cancer diagnosis. So essentially what I did is I've always been a writer. I started writing. Uh, I was on steroids, which meant I had a lot of sleepless nights. And then one night I wrote and I decided to upload what I had written. And it was a very spontaneous decision, to be honest. Uh, it wasn't calculated, but probably subconsciously I was reaching out and asking for help. And something miraculous happened because that blog was read by so many people. I remember I posted it, went to sleep, and that next morning there was some, I think, 5,000 comments. And a lot of them were from India. And, you know, uh, it was unanimously people expressing their support. And that was a breakthrough movement, a moment for me because I'd been very independent before that. I'd find it very hard to ask for help. I, I broke through my own reservations about sharing something that was deeply personal and I honestly believe that the, one of the reasons I'm standing here today is because of all of the emotional support, all the prayers. So sharing my surrogacy story on social media was a little bit more deliberate than my cancer story. Obviously after my babies were born and they were healthy touch wood and uh, I was in a very joyous celebratory uh, mood. I wanted to share the news with my friends across the world. So I realized that actually, again, this was an opportunity to share a deeply personal experience that was very difficult as well, our surrogacy journey, um, but shared in a way that hopefully would give hope, uh, would actually maybe raise a little bit of awareness around the issue of surrogacy, because I think there's a lot of misunderstandings around it. And uh, also at the same time, celebrate the joy of the daughter, of our newborn daughters as well. I was in shock. I think I'm still a little bit in shock that I'm a mother to these two beautiful, gorgeous baby girls. And uh, I'm just infinitely full of gratitude. My gratitude is overflowing. I think that I've never realized the capacity that I have for limitless love. Um, I've heard other people say this. I'm experiencing it now. They want to make me be a better person and to make the planet a better place. So I definitely have a, a wider perspective than I did before. It's not so much just about me, myself, my husband, my immediate family. It's not even just about me and my daughters. It's really about ensuring a better future for all children now. I think you're taking away choice. I think that surrogacy should definitely be uh, policed. It should be controlled. Of course, it was open to exploitation, but just literally banning it or making it illegal, what you're going to do is you're going to make everything go underground even more, and you're going to make people who really deserve uh, a chance at surrogacy, you're going to you know, take away that choice from them. We are taking great strides. You have to understand that I have seen a huge arc of change already in India. Of course, it's not perfect. Of course, we still have a long way to go. Of course, there are still many issues, but when I came to India in 1991 um, as a 16-year-old, um, that the experiences of the industry at that time to what it is today, the stories that are being told, for instance, huge change. Um, I love seeing the new generation of young girls who are starting to, you know, they're independent, they're earning their own money, they're starting to make their own decisions. I think the point is to make choices and every woman should have the choice, live as she pleases, to pursue the lifestyle that she pleases, and design her life as she pleases. And that's what I want to teach my girls. We make sure that we make time for ourselves, and we make sure that our lives are not completely overtaken by the label parents. And we both decided ahead of time that we were going to do parenthood on our own terms, in our own way. A part of it is I'm very aware of my limitations. I'm not trying to be the perfect mother and do everything. I'm trying to be a happy mother and give my babies the best of myself. Be determined. It might be a little bit of an uphill battle, but I always believe that if you really set your mind to doing something, if your heart is aligned with, you know, with your intention, it will happen, but it may not be easy. And it's definitely surrogacy is pretty much now um, very limited in India. But you never know, 377 was repealed, maybe the surrogacy bill will also be repealed one day. So the issue is out on stands now, so grab your copy right now.
and happy Women's Day to everyone.